Hey guys, Mike here with Desert Rat. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you guys a little truck I bought, brought home today. Actually belongs to uh, one of my customers at my winter job. And uh, yeah, so that pretty cool truck. Look at this guy. I know Tony will appreciate this truck. <laughs> hey, Tony. Yeah, this is a gem here. A little straight six converted to 235 from the 216 original. And uh, they put a four speed with the granny gear on the floor. Uh, zero rust on this thing is just amazing. Underneath this thing is unreal. I mean, uh, this is actually for sale, this truck. my customer, I was talking to him about my 55 one day and he says, oh, let me show you what I got in the back here. And I could not, I really not, could not believe when I saw this truck. Let me walk around here. I'll walk around one more time here. Uh, you know, he's got a new piece for the, uh, across the back of the bed right there. And uh, he's got a new radio for it. Factory replacement radio. Uh, let's see what uh, gas gauge wasn't working in it. So, uh, and it smelt like gas inside the vehicle. And window wasn't cranking on the driver's window. So I was talking to him. I said, well, why don't I grab it one day and just uh, bring it on up? So got the best air conditioning in the world when it's cold out right there. That thing's just awesome. I wish my 55 had that. Uh, doors are real solid in it. Like I said, there's no rust in the underneath this thing at all. It is really, really nice. All original. It's just a beautiful truck. So yeah, I got this window here uh, working. Just crank it. Cranks right down and back up. Uh, got the gas gauge working in it. And uh, fuel smell. Put a uh, gasket in there on the sending unit. It was an old cork one that was all torn up and ripped and it's amazing how much it smelled like gas in here and uh, grounded the fuel tank and took care of the uh, took care of everything on the gas gauge works fine the speedometer's been uh, rebuilt has a traffic uh, signal finder on it I think that was cool uh, yeah right outside there a lever for that right here halfway all the way up man just works like a champ uh, it's all real nice in here. Just a real nice truck. Starter on the floor. Uh, door panel's all original. That door works fine as well. Uh, seat is, you know, good. It needs, uh, I had the seat bottom out of here to get to the gas tank. Uh, it doesn't, the adjustment on this thing, I can see what's going on there. It needs work for sure. But, you know, the stuff's all there. Just completely all original truck, real nice. Door shuts beautiful. Yeah, I'm just at, right now. I'm uh, kind of should have done it before on that grill because this thing uh, was dirty, and the chrome, as you can see, is coming out real nice. Pan back here on this baby. You get that blue bucket out of the way here. That kind of takes away from the look of this truck. Yeah. I'd love to buy it myself, but with the 55, uh, I don't think I can pull that one off. <laughs> Try to trade him for the... I asked him if he... I was kind of halfway joking. I go, uh, yeah, trade for the... Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Baja. We'll get back on the truck right away, but uh, I asked him if he wanted a straight-up trade for this car. I built this one quite a few years back from the ground up but really sweet sweet car but yeah he wants to get out of the car business he's a little bit older guy so anyways uh, let me go back and pop the hood I'm going to take it before on these wheels and then I'll get back after I end up cleaning the chrome up but yeah I don't know if we got to look on the front of this thing again but here we go Oh man, is that just sweet or what? That really, I think it's just an awesome truck. You'll have to excuse me a little bit here while I try to open up this. Uh, actually, this thing opens up tons easier than my 55 does. 
so there we go uh yeah motors uh got pretty good torque i'm gonna do a little tuning on it i think here i'm not real happy with the way it uh goes a little hesitation in it but it's got a new carburetor and stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna uh pause this for a little bit and then do a little more clean and bring you back for a final okay guys okay guys that's a uh, little bit of wash job on the chrome a uh, couple of them were uh, a little beyond me getting them clean that one turned out real nice and this side turned out pretty good too uh, one back on the other side was a little a little far gone glass is in real good shape I don't know if I mentioned that earlier there Bumper back here is pretty nice, but one, uh, you know, probably a cheap aftermarket bumper, a little bit of chrome gone there, but yeah, there she is. Do a little spin around here again. And that's probably the wheel that didn't turn out as good, but you know what? From five feet away, she doesn't look too bad. Just love that visor. I think that makes the truck. Yeah, if anybody's interested in, uh, in this truck, like I mentioned before, I think $10,000 is a steal on this truck considering that there is literally no rust to speak of on the truck. I mean, if there is, it's very minimal. I was just so impressed. So there it is. Well, I really appreciate you guys watching this. Please comment and subscribe and uh, tell me what you think of this truck in the comments so until the next one i will see you guys later be safe